Alright guys, good God, what a difference a day makes. We have gone from winter to summer in one day here in the great state of Texas. It is 88 degrees all of a sudden here on Friday, March 24th, 2023, and I have got to head to a picking party, so uh, it might be a little truncated version of my what I do every Friday, and that is my ecological meltdown roundup rant, where I simply go over to mongabay.com. But uh, I notice I did not get an email from Rhett Butler this weekend. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if if uh, I am no longer on Rhett Butler's email list, or this is just a glitch. But uh, we will see. Uh, so I am just on the website at Manga Bay. What we're going to do is, while I'm sweltering out here, uh, packing up for this picking party, let's just pick six stories. Little dog, you don't want to be out here. It's too hot. It's too hot. So, little dog does not need to be out here sweltering. All right, let's do six as oceans warm, temperate reef species. Yes, little dog? You just want to be part of this rant, don't you? Okay. Fine, if you want to be part of this rant. The little dog says he wants to be part of the Manga Bay rant. All right. All right. As oceans warm, temperate reef species edge closer to extinction. Uh, I always thought they were supposed to not. New research found that most Australian shallow reef species, including fish, corals, seaweeds, and invertebrates, experience population declines over a decade, mainly in response to warming events driven by human-induced climate change, while scientists recorded species declines across Australian waters, some of the most pronounced changes occurred in the temperate reefs of southern Australia, a region that has received less conservation attention than tropical reefs. Hmm. The authors say temperate reefs could in fact be in greater danger of extinction than tropical species. Do you think so? All right. How you save the world with three words. We are so doomed. So we are so we are anyway that's four words. Anyway, we all have to figure out what those three words are. All right. Fish kills leave Kenya's Lake Victoria farmers at a loss. What's going on in the uh, shit all country of Kenya? Uh, fish farmers in Lake Victoria have lost more than 900 million shilling, otherwise known as 7.2 million dollars in massive, massive fish kills. Scientists attribute this to reduced levels of dissolved oxygen. Uh, and uh, local farmers, however, attribute the die-offs to pollution from Lake Victoria Industries. Yep, yep, yep. Well, all right. Let's do 10 instead of 6. All right, more trash-talking the Mennonites. This time in Paraguay, we were in Quintana Roo, Mexico last week. Let's go down to Paraguay where Mennonite colonies linked to deforestation of indigenous territories and protected areas in Paraguay. Satellite data and imagery show the expansion of large agricultural fields whittling away 
it already fragmented tracts of primary forest in eastern Paraguay's Kendal indigenous territory. Do you think so? While deforestation inside indigenous territories is illegal in Paraguay. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> deforestation for large-scale agriculture is also expanding in western Paraguay, which sources attribute to other Mennonite colonies. These Mennonites are all over Latin America. Uh, as long as we're in Paraguay, first we have to worry about the Mennonites. Now we have to worry about the Paraguayan government. As Paraguay weighs natural gas drilling inside Medanos del Chaco National Park, Congress is considering opening up natural gas exploration and extraction in Mindanos del Chaco National Park, a protected area hmm, in Paraguay's Gran Chaco, a savanna ecosystem along the northwest border. Uh, the one and a half million acre national park has unique ecosystems and endemic flora and fauna and is home to several indigenous communities who rely on freshwater reserves that could be compromised by the drilling. Yes. Do you think so? If the Mennonites don't get you, the government will. Uh, let's see. What's going on? with the Arctic sea ice this week, southern atmospheric rivers are melting the Arctic sea ice and it may never recover, says new study. All right. Arctic sea ice extent has been reached, has reached its winter, winter maximum for 2023 the fifth lowest on record, combined with this year's unexpectedly small Antarctic sea ice summer minimum extent, global sea ice coverage reached a record low in January. Arctic sea ice is not only receding, but also seriously thinning. New research has found that a huge melt back in 2007 and associated warming kicked off a regime shift to thinner, younger, more mobile and transient ice, a trend that may be irreversible. A big reason why Arctic sea ice is declining even in the frigid polar winter is that atmospheric rivers are surging up from the south and penetrating the Arctic more often. So that's it for the global sea ice. Uh, okay, what is going on with palm oil deforestation? Palm oil deforestation hits record high in Sumatra's orangutan capital. All right, what's going on with the orangutans? Deforestation inside a protected wildlife reserve known as the orangutan capital of the world hit a record high in 2022. According to various analyses, the forest loss was driven by clearing for oil palm plantations by well-connected local elites, hmm. rather than small, you know, planet nibblers, according 
to Rainforest Action Network, uh, the investigation found that palm oil from these illegal plantations had wound up in the global supply chains of major brands like Procter & Gamble, Nestle's, PepsiCo, and Unilever, among others. Was that five or six? I've already... Uh, let's call that five. Five more. Plan to mine clean energy metals in Colombian Amazon splits communities. This is... Uh, I've reported on this many times. Uh, Librero Copper, a Canadian mining corporation, plans to mine copper, molybdenum, and other metals in the richly biodiverse Andean Amazon Piedmont, which has led to a strong division within indigenous and local com communities. The copper and molybdenum project is framed as a green project that could contribute much needed minerals for the country's energy transition. Uh, however, some communities and environmental activists oppose the mining project over concerns of deforestation, landslides, and loss of forest-based livelihoods in the region. Other noble savages support the clean energy transition and the company's promise of jobs. Yep, yep, yep. When it's jobs versus your ancestral homeland, take a wild guess which one that's going to... Uh... Okay. What is, this is number seven, I think. DRC's endangered bonobos face yet another threat to their survival, malaria. And there you go. See if they don't have enough problems. Along, along with humans, great apes like gorillas and chimps are known to suffer from malaria. Uh, and take a wild guess, he's getting it now. Uh, anyway, uh, the new study suggests that bonobos could be in trouble if climate change brings malaria-carrying mosquitoes into their habitat. You know, all of this stuff about the insect apocalypse, but it seems to me like uh, mosquitoes are doing just fine. Uh, let's see here. What is going on in the Netherlands? Sea level rise looms even for the best prepared country on earth. The Netherlands, a low-lying European country with more than a quarter of its land below sea level, has been going to great lengths to protect itself from the impacts of climate change, including sea level rise and extreme weather events. I think, you know, that little boy has his thumb in the dike. But even the Netherlands a country with the wealth and experience to address these issues. The future remains uncertain, mainly because a range of possible scenarios could play out after 2030. Yes. Uh, anyway, all of this argument about how much... Uh, Experts say that most countries need to take the threat of sea level rise more seriously 
than they are and that engineering challenges, a lack of awareness and education, socio-cultural concerns, and financial constraints are hampering their preparation. Do you think so? Was that seven? Because I am uh, dying of heat stroke here in March. Um, okay, what is going on in Nicaragua this week? UN denounces new attacks on indigenous people in Nicaragua's largest reserve. Groups believed to be connected to cattle ranching, logging, and illegal mining launched several attacks inside indigenous communities living in the largest protected area left in Nicaragua. Settlers are pushing into the Basawas Biosphere Reserve and the North Caribbean Coast Autonomous Region to pursue illegal mining, logging, and cattle ranching. At least six indigenous people were killed and several injured in the most recent attack, forcing numerous families to relocate. Yep. Despite an existing international mandate on the Nicaraguan government to protect them. Yes, okay. Two more. Uh, good Lord. Uh, so let's see how Manga Bay is playing this latest uh, IPCC report. IPCC warns of last chance to limit climate change via drastic emission cuts. Hmm. The IPCC released its sixth synthesis report March 20th. Do you think so? The report's authors conclude that immediate reductions in carbon emissions are necessary to limit the rise in the global temperature to one and a half degrees Celsius. Yes. Scientists, activists, and observers are calling for an end to fossil fuel use. Yes. All right. One more. Uh, let's see. Uh, Good Lord, where to do uh, one more? I mean, it's just I want to. Uh, okay, how about Peru? Uh, what's going on in Peru? Peru Congress debates stripping isolated indigenous people of their land and protections. There you go. A new bill under debate in Peru's Congress seeks to re-evaluate the existence of every indigenous reserve for isolated peoples to determine whether to keep them or scrap them completely the bill would shift decision-making power into the hands of regional governments and include economic interest in the evaluation process. Uh, do you think so? Some regional governments and corporations backing the proposed bill have questioned studies confirming the existence of isolated peoples and seek to place oil exploration, logging, and economic development as a priority. Yes. In the event of the bill's approval, meaning when it's approved, 
all open proceedings relating to indigenous reserves and indigenous peoples in isolation would be suspended. So bad news for the noble savages in Brazil. Anyway, I am off to a picking party while I still can after I go jump in the shower. Yep, yep, yep. Bye, guys.